So here we are. Who would like to see inside the Apprentice One to One Academy? So here we are. This is inside the new unit that we're setting up at the minute. I'm going to give you a little walk around. This is before we've started doing absolutely anything at all. There are some positives to this and obviously some negatives. And we'll get to those as we just have a little wander and explain the plans within here. I'm going to come out to this back corner. You can see there used to be gas into here, but that's all capped off now. So we're running on just electricity and water alone. And this is the unit space we've got. So obviously it's quite high level, which gives us options in the future to potentially go two storey. There's definitely the headroom for that. Um, but for the minute, we've got a little toilet block just in there and we'll have a look in there in a minute in a minute sorry we have got the warehouse space in front of us and obviously that's the main electrical intake over there the idea is this is going to be a workshop environment so we're going to get this side bottomed out with some ply as you would be familiar with seeing in any kind of college environment that some of you will be in your training at the minute so we're going to have that set up over that side with some ply and booths so we can set up installation of bearing containment systems, electrical distribution, all the normal stuff that you would expect. That's an old desk, it's not mine, so the last occupiers have left that here, so that's to go. Um, positives are we've got some nice bright LED lights in here already. These are pretty new and they're very bright, so there's no real work needed with those. Um, the floor is absolutely filthy, grimy, nasty and horrible. There is dust and leaves everywhere. This uh, really does need a good clean up. So we're going to get to that, we're going to give this all a right good brush off, get rid of all the muck. Um, I've got a few cleaning products in here just to chuck on the floor tonight, it's late, so well gone 11 o'clock and I'm just going to chuck some of this down on the floor so it can soak in uh, and see if what it'll eat what, um, away any of the top level of dirt. It's just your jays that you would normally chuck down in the garden. So I'm going to spread that all out, leave it to soak in, give it a brush about and agitate it. Get it all cleaned off tomorrow with a pressure washer, I guess, uh, and then let it dry out thoroughly before we're going to paint all this. So we're going to get this all nice and painted, and then at this side we're going to set up uh, office meeting room space. At this side, uh, we're quite lucky in the, the size of the unit. It's not massive, obviously we're on a budget with what we're trying to set up and get going. Like I say, we're not going to be charging anybody to make use of this. It's relying on donations and money I can generate through social media to keep this going and make it a thing. And there are other training providers all around the country who are getting involved to support us with that. And we're going to be alongside them as an apprentice one-to-one -one academy as well. Loads more of that another time. But it's just to really show you this space. There are aspects to this to do with the main electrical supply. And I can show you that down here. I've popped some posts out um, on social media. And... Nobody noticed. So there you go. We'll maybe revisit that one another time, but you've got a steel wire armor cable coming up and then basic uh, insulation on show there. I need to check if that's aluminium or if it's steel wire armor. And then obviously we've got these tails into the three single phase meters and then coming off to this single phase uh, DB here, which um, we're gonna change all of this. And I'll show you that in a later video. We've got plans to put a three phase board in, obviously allow capacity to install an electric vehicle charge point and that could be external, we might put it internal. Obviously we're gonna demonstrate testing on those and things as well in what we're trying to achieve, so who knows. But we do have a good internet connection. We do have three phase, huge positives. This used to be a private estate, so all of the distribution cables in these units was installed by a private company, not the DNO. But the DNO are now responsible for it all. This is all badged up as what was YEDL, it's now Northern Power Grid. So it's up to them to maintain. So I'm gonna get them out to sort that because obviously it's missing its cover from underneath the service head um, and all the neutral current is going down those exposed conductors, be they aluminium or steel. And obviously that's not a good thing because all the return current's currently going down there because there's no three phase setup. It is just running as a single phase system. Um, so that needs looking at. We've got a nice big roller door. We can get vans in, all sorts. So that was my kind of idea at this side to set this up as the, the workshop end and then just leave it so we can get a vehicle in the front. You know, if there's ever anything we're doing, where we need a van inside, you know, who knows? Having the option there to do that is a good thing, even just for the basics of loading and unloading deliveries, I guess. Down this end is going to be more a stores area for the materials, keep the fire escape clear, obviously. And again, we've got good headroom, so if we ever need to go to a mezzanine and have some sort of classrooms or offices upstairs or whatever, we can do that. We've got the skylights in there. I don't think they're very functional, to be honest. They look like they're past their best and just fogged over. But there's that, and obviously the idea of the meeting room here 
forget the electrical system, that's not why it's going there. We're going to be replacing all of that anyway. Uh, but there is a window, so that's primarily what I was thinking. A bit of natural light into that area is going to be helpful. So we're going to set up um, basically down the side of this door off that um, concrete pillar, a wall that comes down here, roughly following the lines in the floor that you can see, and then across somewhere here. And we're going to have that office meeting room uh, set up in there. And there will be a separate little booth just off the back here. So another separate room for recording podcasts. And that's just going to be a really small room where we're going to soundproof it. Because it is quite a noisy, busy industrial estate up here. And if we're going to be recording anything, keeping the noise out is going to be beneficial. So we're going to get that set up as well to make use of that down here. Going to be a little kitchen area here. Nothing too fancy. It is literally going to be a row of worktop. Some cupboards underneath with a little sink. Um, the toilet absolutely reeks. This needs some big time work. So I've got you know, the, some of the old bleach there and just dumped it down for the time being just to try and let it work its magic. But this all needs thoroughly cleaning and sorting out. It's um, been neglected before it was handed back to the landlord. Uh, and as part of our arrangement with them, we take on the cleaning up of this unit to try and reduce some of the cost. So that's fault on me for now. So I'm going to get on with some of the cleaning. I'm going to show you the whole construction phase as we go through this. We'll show the footage of swapping that distribution board. Obviously, we need three phase throughout the rest of the unit, so we're going to stick a three phase board in. It's going to have provision for an EV charge point in it. I'm thinking of putting one of the Proteus EV special boards in. Obviously, we're going to have an SPD on there as well. Um, we're going to have to be constructing walls, um, the ceilings, putting heating in, carpeting, painting. I'm going to video the entire thing and release it probably at the end of 2022 into 2023 for you guys to see exactly what we've been up to as we move progress along. But yeah, just to put that out there on this video really, I'm not sure if I'll release it or not, you never know, um, but at least it's recorded. All the walls need painting, just as a final, final little bit of extra work. There's loads of holes everywhere so we can get those filled, to get those painted up. Same for around here as well. I'm not a huge fan of the orange, so we're going to get that changed. Bit of extra security on the doors, because I'm not quite happy with how they are either. Roller door and that main door. I was of the mind of blocking these up, these roller doors, and maybe putting something against them, mainly to insulate it and use this whole space as a, an open space. But once I spoke to other people who've got units like this already that they're trying to work out of, you know, everybody was saying you need to get a separate room that you insulate for people to work out of. And obviously the rest becomes what it is because trying to um, insulate that and heat it to anything meaningful is very, very expensive at the moment. So that's kind of the path we're on for the time being. It may change as progress develops. But yeah, I best get stop waffling. I think I'm just talking so I don't have to start this horrible job. But we'll get the chairs down. I'll just chuck it out over the floor and let that work its magic. So having run the calculations where it's saying for light or normal. Hmm. Probably just put it on neat. <laughs> so there we are, that's the first pass done. Use both the J's. Mixed it 50-50 in the end. It's covered it just about. I'll give it a good brush out. And we'll just let that soak in now for a couple of days. I know it's supposed to eat away at like algae and other bits and pieces, but there may be bits of dirt it'll just pull out and get rid of. Once that's done, we're going to go around and give it all a right good hoover. Obviously, all these walls are covered in dust and cobwebs. I'm not sure how much we'll get up to here. We've got a platform where we could have a go at it, but I mean, it's um, how far do you take it while we've still got to do a load of building work? So I'm not going to go too mad at this stage. I just want to get rid of the worst of it. So get rid of all this dust and cobwebs off the walls, I guess. Um, get rid of it off the floor and then set to. So the next job is to get that uh, distribution board swapped while we've got plenty of space. First fixed all the wiring and um, services. We need to get a sink in this side as well. So the few bits and pieces there we need to get in place. Obviously bring through a cold water feed. I'm going to be the biggest job in the world to be honest because we have a waste just there. So no grand dramas in that. And this is where our um, renovation skills come into count because we're used to doing stuff like this so in our element to be honest we enjoy it as a little hobby on the side of doing electrical work so it's going to be a bit of fun I know the guys Matty and Nathan are looking forward to helping on this so they're pretty keen to come and get involved in as well to the point we may be allowed to get some footage of them on camera but that's kind of where I can take it now I'm going to get off get home get to bed 
because I'm tired. <laughs> and then we'll set to with this another time. Obviously, we've got a load of other bits and pieces to do with this as well. We're going to put CCTV up. CCTV up. We're going to need an alarm. All things like that. Um, but that's for later on as we move along with the project. There's obviously nothing in here at the minute, so someone's going to break in. They're only going to damage the, the structure of the building on the way in as they would anyway. So there's no great dramas there. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where it is. Just to give you a view from this side, you can see my pile of pile of dust. It doesn't look that substantial with the wide angle on the on the camera, but just to say, I've really been working hard. Uh, it's a nice big pile of muck that I've swept up out of the place, and obviously now we've got got to wait for it to dry. So a few little other notes that I've noticed on the electrics. Obviously, this has got a satisfactory report on it for the landlord to let to us, but that's not in the best of health. Um, it looks like it's actually been replaced at some stage by somebody because it's a different style to the other ones. Um, obviously we've got the issue on the distributors side of things. I don't know quite why the internet port, telephone ports, all the way up there, I guess somebody had a, a router they put up there maybe for some purpose or other. We do have an external floodlight that goes off there. There isn't one at the back, so we're gonna drop one out there. It is just a little passageway for a fire escape. There's no real access to anyone else. It's just a route out the back of the units to the end of the yard. So I don't think anyone's ever going to come in there. Um, but you can see, pops a little um, structure on the handle there, so no one's going to be getting in through that back door very easily. Um, that is where we are up to. I hope you found that entertaining. I'm going to do a full feature on the board we're installing here. I have just ordered a Proteus EB board, so it's one of those double container ones, for those of you who are familiar with it. It's got a main switch, um, a group of TPN, outlets and then on the top kind of a expansion box I guess but it's been laid out already for EV charge points so there's a couple of four pole RCDs in there that's the reason I went for it because it was a pretty good price with it all included might as well for the money and we've got that then for when we put our EV charge point in there's a type A four pole RCD and we could even use that onto a three phase socket outlet in here or something uh, that gives us that option because there's two parts and we're not going to have two EV charge points down here so we have that um, at our disposal. And obviously also the final circuits to wire. Um, we can get on with that in the next video. I shall show you it in action, <laughs> quite literally. About that, I guess, before we end the video to make it mildly electrical, because I know this is the purpose of my YouTube channel. But we've got these drops into this Hager board. You can see in terms of circuits already, we've got the water heater that we're going to be reusing. Uh, the toilet lights and the uh, fluorescent lights, as they're called in here, they're going to remain the same. These two are unlabeled. So I'm not sure exactly what they could or couldn't be doing. Um, we'll have to find out. There is like a cooker isolator over there, which I think is for the water heater in the toilet. I didn't know it's an isolator in there. So I'm just talking off the top of my head. But yeah, you can see somebody's popped a little adaptable box there. I guess they've just removed the isolator out of the bathroom at some stage when somebody C2'd that have been in the, the WC. That's probably what's happened. Um, so yeah, I think those two were probably just put in there to fill off space I'm guessing because I can't see anything else we've got the the toilet lights and the fan the floodlight as well warehouse lights sockets water heater that's all that's in here so we're going to get those into our new board obviously this meter we've got the neutral looping along just so the meters will spin at the minute we're just using this one um, so it's just a single phase setup obviously on this board but we do have the three phase head somebody's cut all the seals so they are going to have to come out and do something about all of this anyway. And just to show you that close up, this is the return neutral and the earth. So you can see it's the armorings. We've only got the three phases coming in on that supply cable and the earth and neutral returns down those armorings. Uh, they could be aluminium, they could be steel. We'll get a magnet on and have a go, see what it is. But this is a private estate, as I said earlier on in the video. Our new supplier is coming to swap these. We're going to get a three phase meter. So obviously that can all be taken care of. For the minute, I'm just going to drop our circuits into the new board, drop a set of tails down to some Henley blocks, and then we'll wire them in and away from there. Um, so we're all good to go on a temporary basis. I think we're going to site the new board here. There's plenty of space for it there. Makes sense. I'll just zoom out again to a wider angle. Pop it up there. And then we can just adapt these tubes and pipes to enter into it as needs be. Obviously, this one down this side, that's coming out, so we don't need that. It's only these three that kind of drop in from the top. So we can have that one come in on the side, maybe the new board, or swivel it over into the bottom, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then these ones can just drop in the top. Should be pretty straightforward. And the wider install is pretty decent at high level. You can see there's all tube up 
Uh, it's landed into the steel structure. If you can see that up there. That's pretty funky zoom. Never realised it could do that. You see up there as well. So it's all landed in and then it runs along and drops out into, if we can find somewhere where we're not in the light, that's going to be hard work. You can see up there. Uh, let's zoom in again. So just little pendants. So a rose outlets, I guess, and then onto those lights. So it is pretty nicely done in terms of containment. So there's no real need to mess with that. I'm happy that that's fine as it is. Uh, obviously the landlord's certified all this and said they're happy enough anyway. So we're just gonna look after our new circuits. And like I say, we're gonna need some three-phase power over here for all of our plans. So I'll probably just put another subboard in at this side because that's gonna be easier than dragging a load of cables back to there all the time. So we'll bring a main feed over, stick it in to a three-phase board over this side and then wire out some single-phase boards in the bays and have a three-phase test area down the end. I'm guessing something along those lines.